Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today we are going to see how you can set up any Node.js application with TypeScript and in this demo we are going to see how to set up Express specifically with TypeScript. Now I have made a previous video on it but now it has gotten old and new things have come through so we are going to go ahead and start over again. So the first step is we have to initialize our app obviously because if you are a node.js developer you know how this goes so i'm not going to explain every single thing but i'm just going to explain the typescript part so let's open up our new terminal right over here and what we are going to do is we're going to run npm init dash y so that's going to generate a package.json file for us very simple very straightforward now after that what we are going to do is we are going to install typescript so let's just say npm install typescript and we're going to add the dash d flag because we want to add it as a dev dependency and not only typescript but we are also going to install ts node dev now if you don't know what is ts node dev if you'd heard about it for the first time it's like node mon but for typescript it works great with typescript and it's very very faster than node mon and finally we are going to need at types slash node because we are using in we are inside of the node.js environment so we need the node types hit enter and that's going to install it wait for a while now after these dependencies are installed let's go ahead and generate a ts config file so right now these are the dev dependencies not dependencies but we need a ts configuration file for typescript so what we are going to do is we are going to just run npx tsc dash dash init and that's going to simply generate a typescript configuration file for us we don't need to look into this file a lot but all we need is just a TypeScript configuration file so that if we need to configure it later on, we have it already. Now it's time to set up Express and it's actually quite easy. Uh, what you would do normally in an Express application, you just have to do that. So let's install Express with the command of npm i express. That's the first command. Let's run that. So Express will get installed pretty easily right over here. That's it. Now once Express is installed, we need the types for Express. So Express by default does not come with types. And if it does, it still does not work well with TypeScript. So we need the types for Express just, just like we had the types of Node. So we are going to npm install at types slash Express, not Node, Express. And we are going to add it as a dev dependency again. We don't need it as a dependency, we need as a dev dependency. So after the express types are installed, let's go ahead and start working on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder called SRC. You can name it anything you want, but this is where all your code can live. I mean, it can live anywhere, but SRC folder is recommended. Then we're going to add an app.ts file. You can name it anything you want, server.ts, app.ts, whatever. So I have the uh, express website right over here. On their website, they have this basic code. So let's just copy this and paste it right over here. Now we don't need to require now because we are using TypeScript. So instead of required let's just import express from express and let's get rid of this required statement so everything is hopefully done and this is how it looks like you don't need to type this out so many people do like uh whatever the app is i guess yeah the application type from express many people uh, explicitly type it but you don't need to do that in case of express because express has its own types and it does everything automatically if you want you can do that but it's not necessary and this will just work fine so let's see what this basic app does and how do we run it so in typescript instead of compiling it first how do we run it so what we can do is we installed ts node dev and if you go to ts node devs npm page you can see there are a lot of settings and a lot of things you can do what i have done is i have uh picked up a lot of resources and I have made a script. So what you can do is go back to VS code inside of package.json inside of scripts, we're going to add a dev script. So a dev script to run the development server. So what we're going to do is remove all of this. And what we can do is we can just say TSND, which stands for TS node. It's short for TS node dev. You can also write the whole TS node dev command, but I'm going to write TSND and then the path to our file, which is inside of source app.ts and if we want to run this on every watch we are going to add the flags of dash dash respawn and then we have dash dash transpile only and dash dash exit 
child so these are the uh, one of these are just three of these settings you can look at more settings on their page i'm going to link this page in the description below and there are a lot of settings if you understand it please go ahead and implement in in your app and let me know in the comments below as well so once this test script is created let's see it in action so i'm going to save the package.json file and i'm going to go back to my terminal and i'm going to run this with npm run dev and let's see what happens so it goes ahead runs the server example app listening on port 3000 and let's see so when we go on to the slash route it's going to send us hello world so let's open up a new tab and i'm gonna go to localhost port 3000 and here we go it works now it works fine right now but when you want to deploy it you also have to convert it back to javascript you have to compile it back to javascript and that's also very very simple you're just going to have all your code inside of src so you don't need to worry about that but what we can do is to compile it to javascript we can go to the ts config and here don't get overwhelmed with, with all these settings if you don't know what they are if you just go ahead and hit ctrl f and find the root directory so this is the root directory setting so let's uncomment this and what we need to do is just set the root directory instead of dot slash let's set it to src what this means is now it's going to look into the src folder instead of the root folder right so once we got the src now uh, if we want to compile it we need an out directory so just find out directory and in the out directory first of all just uncomment that and we are going to go ahead and add make this dist so dist means distribution you can name it anything you want but basically what for, once you compile your typescript it's going to go into the dist folder right over here so once that's done let's work on compiling it so our app is done but how do we compile it let's go to package.json let's add a build script you can name it anything you want but i'm going to name this build and this is going to be just tsc because we have the tsconfig.json we don't need to pass in any flags in here because all the configuration inside of this file and we can just have tsc in here once that's done let's see it in action so i'm going to go back to my terminal let's uh, terminate this and let's build this app so i'm going to run npm run build and that is going to run the tsc command and eventually it will build our app.ts into the dist folder so dist app.js as you can see and this code you don't need to worry about this but this code will work fine in production so how do we run it in production well we are going to create another script so let's go at the top you can put it at the bottom as well it doesn't really matter so let's call this start you can call it anything you want so now when we run npm start it's going to go node and it's going to run the source slash app.js file and now let's see i'm going to just say npm start and boom so I did a little mistake. I wrote down source SRC here, but we, it's not the SRC folder. It's the dist folder. So let's hit save and let's just start this app. So example app running on port 3000. If you go back and refresh, it still works fine. So just a little side note here. If you don't want to generate this app again and again with all these processes, what I have done is I have created a repository right over here, a GitHub repository, which you can just go ahead and clone or I'm going to make this a template now so that you can just use this template and use this inside of your, uh, use this simple boilerplate for your Express and TypeScript project. And I've also created this little steps for generating uh, Express app with TypeScript gist, which I'm also going to leave the link in the description below, which you can check out and you can just copy all the commands like the initialization, installation, etc etc and this code you can copy everything from this gist right over here and i hope this helps you out if this video helped you out consider subscribing to the channel like the video comment down below your thoughts and finally thanks for watching